Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. Alright folks, in this episode I'm going to go over what I do to rebuild a chewed up bucktail jig. It's not exactly what you think. We're not going to go over it and just put on new fabric and rebuild it this way. We're going to add a little bit of that South Florida saltwater fishing flavor to it. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. Alright folks, so like I said, we are rebuilding white bucktail jigs. If you've ever had them and you've fished with them and you've had them get hit hard, they end up looking like this. Or like this, very chewed up. Fish won't even hit them anymore if you're trolling them or you're pitching them out because they just don't have that flash, they don't have that flare. It's time to give them a little bit of TLC. Now you can refurbish them and rewrap fabric using dental floss and super glue, but that's not what I like to do. I'm gonna show you how I do it utilizing a little three inch trolling squid. All right, so we're gonna get right into this. Okay, so to do this properly, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need your beat up old raggedy white bucktail jig. You're gonna need your three inch trolling squid. This one is a glow in the dark color translucent squid. It is from the company P-Line. If you're looking for it online, it is the SQ35 and it is what they call size one. You're gonna need a cutting tool and you're gonna need a knife. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the rest of the torn up fabric so that we can get this show on the road. So you're gonna take your knife. You're gonna get it underneath the original twine that holds the fabric on. And you're going to slowly peel it away. Cutting it away so that you don't cut yourself or anything. And you'll see it'll, it'll come off pretty easy once you get it started. All right, and you can get it, and it'll come off in layers, just like that and you just keep going until it all comes off. And you'll see, you'll know once you get it off enough that all the feathering will come out. All right. And once you've got it all far enough away, it'll all come off and you just get off all of it until you have nothing but your jig head left. There we go. That's all that we're gonna have left is the jig head with this little spike right here. All right, so now to reassemble it is fairly simple. We've got a brand new squirt squid. We are going to trim up just enough of the nose to make a hole, just like that. Now what we are going to do is we're going to feed it around onto the hook, get it up over that little pokey deal that holds the fabric on. All right, and then you're going to push it all the way as far up as you can. And there you go. That's what I do to rebuild these. It's as simple as that. You're ready to put this on your leader, get it trolling, pitch it out, jigging it, do whatever you can. All right, folks, and there you have it. It really is that simple. There's not much to it. We're not complicating things. This thing is ready to go. You tie it onto some fluorocarbon, or if you're going after toothy critters, you know, you put yourself a trace wire leader on, you get it trolling, or like I said, you pitch it out and you jig it, you get into that bite. What I've been doing lately with this, this way, is I've been trolling the patch reefs. I've refurbished a bunch of my older ones, trolled the patch reefs. I'm getting into the bite, trolling it over shallow water with fish like mutton snapper, fish like yellowtail snapper, Yes, yellowtail snapper trolling. It's no joke. And getting into, you know, a few yellow jacks. Not giant yellow jacks, but nice little fun sized ones to, you know, have fun with over the Patrick's while I'm trolling around searching for those big giant mutton snappers. And that's not all you can do with it. You can definitely take it offshore like this and go after fish like tuna, mahi mahi. You can bring it over to deep ledges of the reef and definitely go for fish like king mackerel, barracudas, and false albacore. It'll definitely get you in the bite with all that stuff. Now what's gonna happen every once in a while is once you get hit with it, if you get hit real hard, 
the uh, little squirt squid might tend to fall off. If it does, it's going to be like that and it'll drag back. You're not going to lose it. So all you simply do at that point is you just feed it back on and you get back up and rolling. Now the good thing about this is if the squirt squid gets chewed up, you just replace it. These jigs are tough as nails. They're resilient. But like I said, the little bucktail hairs do get worn down after they get hit a bunch. And this is my way of solving that problem. A great solution that is just as effective, if not even more effective, than the original idea. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed. And I hope you learned a little bit about my version of what I do to rebuild the white bucktail jig and get it back into the water, back into that action, back into that bite. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.